Hi, this is Ian Mitchell with Gnome Americas, and we want to do a quick how-to on how to register our phones, our decked phones, to our M500 uh, decked base station. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, one of them is a manu manual registration, which of course um, a lot of um, other deck devices have. We basically hold a button on the decked base station, like we would see right here, which would put it into pairing mode, and then you can hit a couple buttons on a phone in order to do registration. But we also want to show you first how you can actually perform an auto registration where through the provisioning file, you can actually um, already input the IPEI information of your different devices and then they will automatically register. So if we come over to the computer here, we can see that we don't currently have any handsets registered. And what we need to do is in the configuration file, what we're needing to populate is basically we need to make sure that the cordless auto reg is enabled. And then we also need to populate the IPEIs for each particular cordless device. So we have the IPEI for the first one, the second, um, fourth, and fifth. We'll leave the third one empty for now and we'll go ahead and do a um, manual registration with that. But to show you how the auto reg would work is um, we just need to uh, provision these on the phone somehow, either through uh, your standard provisioning process um, that you might be on a resync interval. We'll just go ahead and do it um, right through uh, a manual upload. Um, you could also, through the web UI, basically put in uh, the handset ID and the IPEI from here, hit register, and it'll add it to the list. But we'll kind of do it all at once. And you do want to make sure that that auto reg is enabled. So if we go over here to settings or servicing and provisioning, We'll just go ahead and import this file we have already created. Go to update. And this should be updating um, our config file onto the M500. And then we should notice shortly our phones should automatically begin to register. We see that upon boot up, they'll already be sitting at the auto registration. So you'll get the splash screen basically saying that uh, we're registering and it'll have the IPEI information and it'll just tell you to keep the death set near the primary base. And here we go. We're starting to register our devices. We can also see that red light went off on our base station since we do actually have a phone registered now. So it looks like all of them are registered except our one handset that we decided to leave off. And if we're looking at this now, all we really need to do, if we just bring this a little bit closer here, is we need to put it into a manual registration mode. So we'll go ahead and cancel this process. And then it says that the device is not registered. So we'll go ahead and hit the registration button. And we'll tell it to do a link key on the base. Hit next, and then we'll hit pound. And then we just simply need to go to our base station and hold this button for about four seconds. All right, we see all the lights are flashing in sync now. And the handset has been registered. And then if we look back on our um, Desk phones here, we can see that they've already um, registered and they've pulled in their provisioning information. So they have their programmable keys programmed the way they're supposed to. And that is how we perform deck registration with the M500 series.